all right ladies and gentlemen we are back with another video probably the last video with orlando's 2014 bad mazda 6. so now we are going to recalibrate the airlift 3p because when it airs up instead of just airing up to the height or close to the height it's like it, it over airs to come back down the ride height and i think my car used to do that before i put the height sensors on it and converted it to 3h so let me see if i can show y'all what i'm talking about and we can see if recalibrating the system fixes what i, I it's, it's not an issue per se but i don't think it's necessary for it to do it so you see how it raises up and then it comes back down to height I want to see if recalibrating it will keep it from raising up so high but before you start the recalibration you do want to make sure that it is, it is on a flat level and all obstacles are clear because it's going to do uh, multiple motions of up and down for the recalibration you hold the air lift and the button right above it and it goes in the display operation setup calibration you want to go down to calibration and system is calibrated, do you wish to recalibrate? Level surface, wheel straight, wheels free of all obstructions, manifold mounted, one compressor. Uh I don't know what stance guard he is. What is stance guard? I don't know, I'm gonna disable stance guard because I don't know what that is. No height sensors. We are ready. Alright, and the calibration was successful. So now what I want to do is I want to air it out and then air it back up and see if it over airs in the rear like it did before. So let's give that a try and let's see what happens. So it did fix the issue. So you saw how it went straight up to the height. It didn't over air up. It just went straight to the height and stayed there. So that is what I wanted to see. Well, that it fixed that issue and recalibrating the system did. So I'm gonna do it one more time. So you can see that it went straight to the height. It stayed there. It didn't over air for it to come back down. Perfect. And what that is going to do is, is that they're going to use less PSI in the tank and the compressors are going to run less since they don't have to put out as much air. So that's all I wanted to see. So now this is good to go. So I do want to do a test drive before he comes gets his car and drives it, what, 40, 50 miles home. So this is it for this video. If you are having that issue with it over airing up, then just recalibrate it and then it should be good to go. We're at 75.
feels good. So he definitely should be good to go. With the axle and stuff. Should be good to go. Feels good. That's an 85, it's cruising right on along. 90. Chilling. 